Well, Cork is known for its four stars, so I've come down to the Revel County to meet one of their favourites. Hello, Hi, how Amanda, are you? How are you? Are you well? I'm, good, I'm not surprised you asked us to meet you here at the market, food market in here. Yeah, Hilarious. absolutely. Yeah, it's great to have you down in the real capital, the People's <laughs> Republic, Cork. This is just standard weather that we get every day here. It's, uh, it is. It's, it's gorgeous. There must be something in the water as well because there's so many sports people come out of Cork. you got your Sanyo Sullivan. Yeah, you've you got, got great hurlers at the moment. You've Robert Heffernan. I suppose it's a, a city that loves sport as well. And I, I said we'd come in and have a look around the English market as probably one of the must-sees if people come to Cork. It's uh, full of uh, great shops, but uh, great people as well, which is really nice to see. And good food, which I'm sure that's like your main thing here. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not sure you've eaten. <laughs> yeah, just the usual from a lunch place, big rest. So, Donica, you've brought us to another place that's very close to your heart. Tell us a little bit about your school. Yeah, this is my old secondary school, CBC. Um, happy days up here playing rugby and just um, a great school where I made an awful lot of friends and right in the centre of Cork as well as you can see by the yeah. beautiful view. And I was chatting to your principal there, he said you were a character but you weren't, you didn't really get in trouble that much. Yeah I think it's just been nice to you there to be fair. <laughs> when I went in and met him earlier he was saying that I still owe him homework and oh, things no. like that. So In the intervening years Donnick has been back in the college many times helping out and coaching rugby with the young, younger lads and he is very much a, I suppose an old model. Yeah, has he changed much? Yeah, a, no, <laughs> he hasn't changed, he hasn't changed I was the same size in school. If I could pick out um, the mo most nervous time in my life that's it. Here, just before, I, I haven't been that nervous for internationals or anything. It's just representing your school, representing everything that's gone in in the year's work. You weren't even more nervous when you lost your shorts, no? Ah. <laughs> the lads have been snaking out of the gym, pretending they're studying. I said, no, no. Down to the books, lads. <laughs> so we're on the pitch where you just started playing rugby when you're only just a young lad. Yeah, that's Mr. Amelia, my old geography school T-shirt. We might uh, go through uh, coastal erosion again. <laughs> Mr. Amelia, how are you? How was he? Was he a good student? Yeah. He was an outstanding student. Uh, <laughs> yeah. His his behaviour was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> He's known for his sarcasm. Okay, great. <laughs> How intimidating, by the way, for these for these young lads here. This is their first day playing rugby, their first year's first day playing rugby new show. No, not at all. Actually, half of them were telling me I'm a useless ref. <laughs> <laughs> you might be handy at rugby, but you're a useless ref. <laughs> Roll away here. Roll yeah, away. You often you come back and you yeah. know you obviously talk play about on, sports and stuff, but you also come back and you talk about everything that you do at UNICEF. Yeah, it's a great charity that's on the ground in, in, in places like Syria where where kids and children really need our help. And you were there only, you were saying, about 10 weeks or so. Like, I mean, it must have been really hard. Yeah, it is grim. It, it's, to be honest, it, you, you can't imagine how, how tough it is when you see uh, malnourished children, when you see uh, uh, kids being exploited to child labour. You're just so grateful for the great lives we live here. I, I think the big thing for people is to just be aware, just Absolutely. to know that this is going on. If people watching at home could come with some cool ideas yeah. to raise money for UNICEF, we'd be delighted with that. I'll pitch in. We'll help out any way we can. Good ideas are appreciated. If you have a good idea to fundraise for us, I'll help out. <laughs>